Hello everybody, good afternoon. It's Tabby Cat. Sorry I haven't been on for a few days. I had a family situation that I had to handle. So, last night I finally got to catch up and I watched The Lab. I love to listen to Josh. And he had Chris McDonough on there on panel. Great, great interviews. Great. And who hops on but yours truly, Don Wells. Whoopsie Don, you made a big whoopsie. You finally let the cat out of the bag, and I'm pretty ticked off, but I have a question to ask you. But first, I'm going to let you listen to the audio of what was said. I mean, it's been proven that he's he just got busted, you know, for all the charges he's got. That's right. all the fun. All, dr all drugs, no problem. So let's get back to you decide to take the car that day. I took it the day before, I think, because I've been driving my truck for a long time. We went through this already. I just wanted to put some miles on the Subaru. So. Oh, okay, so you wanted to drive the Subaru, and, and you loaded it up with all your, your yeah, stuff. Yeah, the, the day before. And the day, the day before, we had actually had a welfare case where somebody called and said I was letting the kids run around with loaded guns, which was totally idiotic and stupid. So, you all heard it. Don Wells took the Subaru on June 14th, not on the 15th, as he made it sound out to be. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did, and I'm going to hunt that down. You stated that you took the red Subaru to work on June 15th. You told everybody about that. Now, you finally blurted it out that you took, let me think here, you claim Here's a little snippet, and I'm going to find where it is before I let everybody hear it, so hold on for a minute. Yeah, welcome to episode number one of my new Spirit Seeker Squad shorts. Hands. Oh, well, because the truck was, or the car was just sitting there and I paying these, oh, these payments, you know, 600 months plus the Shorts. Seeker Squad short snippet series. Well, because the truck was, or the car was just sitting there and I paying these, Oh, these payments, you know, 600 months plus the insurance, you know, and it's just sitting there. And I thought, well, I might as well get some use out of it. And I threw all my tools in there and started driving it for a little while just because, you know. Yeah. And People are wondering, why did you choose to drive the Subaru that day? Why not? Of my new Spirit Seeker Squad short snippet series. Now, I found this interesting, and I found it on Spirit Squad, Spirit Seeker Squad. I've never listened to her before, but I am giving her a shout-out. Sub up to her if you want to. Uh, sub up to the lab. Sub up to Chris McDonough. But this is very interesting. You got caught in a oopsie. Well, because the truck was, or the car was just sitting there, and I'm paying these, oh, these payments, you know, 600 months plus the insurance, you know, and it's just sitting there, and I thought, well, I might as well get some use out of it, and I threw all my tools in there and started driving it for a little while, just because, you know, yeah. And People are wondering, why did you choose to drive the Subaru that day? Why not your work? Oh, because that Subaru, you know, since the boys have been out of school and everything, I was just sitting there, and I'm paying quite a bit of money for it, and I thought, well, I might as well get some use out of it, I'm wearing out my truck, but... I'm pretty hard on vehicles, so I, I decided, decided just to drive it for a while, that's all. 
put some miles on it because it's just it was just sitting there really yep okay so don well stated that okay you stated that then now you're telling josh and mr mr mcdonough flat the other night that you drove the subaru on the 14th and on the 15th you took your truck well it's kind of funny because somebody has one of the last pictures of you in the white truck the day of that accident on youtube and you know i have been trying to tell people who follow me that yes candace did too have that that subaru on the 15th do you want to know why i'm saying that well because she put on tiktok the video i'll show you the picture make it a little bigger here so y'all can see it over a little down there the subaru has tan interior and black the mirror on it is black grandma's car truck or whatever you want to call it the silverado is silver right is silver okay now i'm getting a little ticked off with some people trying to say i'm lying but if you look at grail if you look at it from my point of view you put she put this on her TikTok. Okay, that baby was in the back of that Subaru truck with the two gallons of milk, the two gallons of milk, and the two boxes of food. Now, I would like, I have a question. Oh, Candace, I have a big question to ask you. In the picture with the baby against the milk jugs, right? You know what you want to talk about, right? How come... There are no, let's see if I can find it, because I know what I'm looking for. Candace had the Subaru on the 15th. Mm -hmm. I'm using this for my fair use law. This is a Subaru. Black mirror, black interior, and tan interior in that car. On the 15th, she claims that this picture was allegedly, this video was the 15th. Okay, so we're going to go with the 15th. Okay, but here's a question I have to ask Candace. Because this is very, 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 very important. And I don't know if anybody has caught it yet or not. So I'm going to ask this question because, well, I'm allowed. I have a right to an opinion. I have a right to a question. And I'm going to ask it. Okay, Candace, get ready for it now. Because me and you are going to have a little word about something. Okay, this is being used with the Fair Use Law 107. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger over old Donnie boy's face there. With the oopsie. Here's a little summer in the back of the Subaru. There's your little soda, your yeah, M&M's, or Skittles. There's two boxes piled up here with two jugs of milk. Candace, where are the priceless shopping bags, you know, that you claimed when you posted the TikTok you gave it to somebody and told them that you were coming home at 309 in this car from the supermarket on the way home. Where's the priceless supermarket bags? I don't see any priceless supermarket bags. But here is the other thing. Did you stop off at a food pantry? Because now I'm wondering, are these two boxes food from a food pantry and they gave you two containers of milk too for your family? That would be very interesting to know. However, I'm going to leave it right there. This is the Subaru. And I'm tired of people telling me otherwise. If Don took the Subaru on the 14th, like he told Mr. McDonough and Josh at the lab the other night, right? Which I found it kind of hard that he would actually take the Subaru and pile his, his um, tools in there and whatnot in there. Because that would be kind of stupid to do. Because you're going to have dust everywhere and plaster everywhere and that. But, but he, 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 he has a little hitch up on the giddy up there, Candace. Yeah. Hang 
No. Let me see. Oh, I can't use that one anymore. No, let me see. If I could find a better one. I probably could. I have a few of them. Sorry, people. It's just a task. It's a time task thing. Okay. If you look at the Subaru, I'm going over my thing here for a second. I'm sorry. The Subaru has black mirror, same steering wheel, tan in uh, black and black here, and tan along here, along the door, just like it does in the picture with Candace driving. Candace had the Subaru on the 15th. She did not have Grandma's truck because Grandma's truck is silver. Right? She didn't have the green one, the green SUV, because that has a green mirror on the outside. Don't it? Let me see if I can find that picture, too. I'm almost sure I have that picture somewhere, but if I can't find it, I will. But Grandma, Grandma's truck is silver, right? So how can you people keep telling me that I'm wrong, that I'm lying, that I'm making this up when Grandma Silverado, her interior is silver. All this is silver, the steering wheel, the door, her paneling, and her seats are red. And I found this picture with the fair use law on Facebook. So how can you tell me that Grandis was drive that Candace was driving Grandis' Silverado the day that she went to the pond with H in summer when grandma's car is silver? And if I could bring it in bigger, I'm going to try because her mirrors on the outside would be gray, would be encased in gray. So can you explain to me how? People are saying, no, it's the truck. You're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Grandma's Silverado had red interior seats where Candace's has black and, gray, black and tan interior and black seats. Hmm? I mean, I'm not trying to knock anybody down. That's not my case here. But I'm just curious because here's a picture of the baby in the back seat of the Subaru. Let's blow this up a little bit. Subaru, tan, back seat, same lines, head thing. This child was in the back seat of a Subaru. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, this was from Spirit Seeker Squad. I don't care what anybody says. This is the dang Subaru. This is the same car that that baby was in. Okay? So let's just end this. This was the Subaru on the 15th that she claimed, allegedly claimed, that she took on the 15th. This is the Subaru. It's not a truck. It's not, it's not anything. It's not a truck. And it's not the green truck. It's not the green uh, SUV. This was Grandma's Silverado getting redone. She was putting new paneling on it. Silverado. Okay, she was putting new paneling on it. And it's silver up here. Grandma's car was Silverado. It was a silver car. And I brought that up and people say, oh, no, you're lying. No, 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 Tabby, you're lying. No, Tabby wasn't lying. Tabby was telling you the truth. But I have questions about why. And these those pictures were actually taken off of Facebook. Mm-hmm. Granny was redoing. Oh, here's Granny's car. Wait a minute. Oh, even better. Okay. At their house. 
Granny Silverado. See the silver car? That's Granny Silverado. And this is Candace's car. Again, I got no reason to lie to anybody. Okay? So we're just going to try to clear this up best I can. Because Don like, got caught and lied through his teeth. And he even stated he took the Silverado on the 14th. And he took his truck on the 15th. Oops. Again. Granny Silverado parked next to Candace's, um, Candace's, um, Subaru. Granny's car was gray, a silver color gray, where... I don't know. Y'all y'all think I'm dumb. You think people are dumb. Where? Let's see. Okay. Where? Grandis's Silverado was silver. And then, what is surprising to me and very, very concerning is why you lie. Why do you people lie? Constantly lying. There's got to be a reason for it. Now, do I think that Grandis did anything? You know, did, you know do I think that people are going to ask me, do I think this? And, and, I, and I honestly, I don't know what to say to any of you people, but it's confusing, okay? And I know that people are being confused over this about, you know, um, about whether it was a Subaru or a truck. But just because Candace said that she had Granny's truck that day may, does not make it so. She did not have Granny's truck. And in my opinion, if she did have Granny's truck, why wasn't there any pictures or videos down at Warrior Park with her with that truck? Please tell me that. If that is the case, why wasn't there any video or picture of the truck down at the lake, down at the pond with, Cand with Candace and H and Summer running around? Why wasn't there any video of that? I find it very odd. I also find it very strange. Why wasn't there any kind of a video documenting this? You know, that you were at the Warriors Park with Grandma's truck. You weren't. You got caught. End of story. You got caught. Now, I can't find any more, so... Now... On to the next thing I want to discuss. Oh, Candace, you were on Critters the other night. And you are working with Dawn. Yeah, she's doing spackling and, and drywalling. According to Dawn, she's one of the best spacklers and white drywalling people there is. All the best to her. I've got no problem with that. However, I think when her friend Can Kathy went off on her, I think she was more or less talking that in the six months that Candace was living there, taking advantage of her, that Candace didn't want to get a job. Candace didn't want to try to get a job. And about a month ago or so, Candace was having Miss, Miss Daisy put up her cash app and ask people for money and to help with her child support, which is about $30 a month to help uh, pay her phone bill, um, animal food, and past child support that was owed a lot of money. Somebody laid out a lot of money for that. I think now that you're working, you should set aside a few dollars each month out of your paycheck, pay your child support, buy your dog food. You know, I hope you have your dog with you. I don't know. It's none of my business, but... I would be really upset if you left your animal home alone 
with nobody to care for him. That would be unfair. So I hope that you have him with you. And anyway, any of the money you make, you know, take a little bit of it, set it aside. You know, pay your child support, buy your animal food, pay your phone bill. But take a little bit of money and put it aside in an envelope and refund every single person that gave you money. Because that was it's disgusting what you've been doing with your cash app. You've been asking people for money. You Miss Daisy's out there putting your cash app all over the all over YouTube for no reason. When you got a job. And you could have had a job when you live with Kathy and you didn't even do that. And I feel sorry for Kathy. And you're sitting there calling her a liar and things like that. And what's going on between you and Kathy is between you and Kathy. But my heart broke for her because seriously, that lady did an awful lot for you. And it sounds like you just threw her in the trash can. You know, thank you, but no thank you. But I think all the money that you collected from other people should be repaid back. That is in my opinion, and I have the right to my opinion. But I am keeping to what I said. Candace had the Subaru on June 15th because she stated that this video that she was in with the baby in the back seat was taken on June 15th at 3.09 p.m. Now, who said no? Some are saying it's Grandma. Some are saying Leslie. Some are saying Allie. I'm saying I'm not sure because I don't feel that Grandis was even at the pond with them because unless she went home and picked up Grandma after she dropped H off and then they went to the food pantry to get food and milk because there's no priceless bags in that car to show that you went to priceless okay and Don you did a oopsie big oopsie but thank you for the truth that you drove the Subaru on the 14th and not on the 15th well I'm gonna let everybody go have a nice day stay cool because it's a little warm out today here and everything and have fun Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.